Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video was highly requested, so I'm back with it. Yoga for weight loss series. And this class is a combination of various asanas and flows that's gonna tone, strengthen, shed the fat, and it's gonna rev up your metabolism. It's gonna be 30 minutes long, and I'm gonna be giving you some modifications if you're a beginner or new to yoga. And once you're ready, flow onto your mats and let's begin. Let's begin the class in the child's resting pose. Extend your hands in front and send your glutes down to your legs as you press your forehead down to the mat if you can. You're going to stay here breathing in this pose for several seconds and begin to connect with the mat, rooting yourselves nice and deep and setting a tone for our practice today. Wonderful. Slowly raise yourselves up in the all fours position. We're going to go in for hip sways. You're going to send the glutes down to your legs and push your body forward. Get your entire weight down to the hands. Pause for a second forward and get back. Pause for a second down. Beautiful to warm up the spine and your total body, your arms, your glutes. Back to the center, we're going to wiggle our butt left and right. Try to squeeze your hips, feeling that beautiful stretch on your sides. And let's begin to bring the left leg in front to the gateway of your hands. Going in for the crescent lunge, again we're thinking to sway back and forth. Trying to open up the glutes, your hip flexors. Now get your total body to the front leg. Placing the right hand down to the mat. Extending the left over your head. Root yourselves to high, twisting yourselves. Now the hands go right on your knee and erect your spine up, hold it nice and tall, extending for the right hand and stretching as much as you can. And drop down, get back. Let's do the same thing for the other side. Bringing the right leg in between the gateway of your hands and begin to move back and forth, pausing as long as you need to. Flow with your breath, keep breathing as you do this and feel good. Shifting the body weight forward, rooting the left hand down, right goes over your head. Open up and stretch. Dropping the hand down. Slowly come up, hands to your knee, with your back erect. This time you're going to stretch for the left side body towards the right side. Engage your core and keep breathing. Wonderful work, still on the all fours position. We're gonna to get to some core strengthening moves now. You're gonna simply extend one of your leg, point the toes away from you, and make sure you're in a nice straight line. Do not tip the hips or your leg. Keep breathing and hold your core tight. And we're thinking to switch to the other side. Extend, lengthen 
and that's going to in turn engage, strengthen and tone your ab region. Wonderful work. I really hope you're getting warmed up already. Let's get to the downward facing dog. So that's going to stretch your hamstrings even more. Slowly root yourselves to high. You can bend the knees if you are a beginner looking to stretch your hamstrings. Straighten out the legs if you are advancing. And try to press your upper body towards the lower. With tiny little pulses growing towards your legs. And get back to the center, knees drop down. And this time you're going to advance with marches. Lifting up to slowly march the legs out. Stretching out your hamstrings and toning your legs of course. Back to the downward facing dog, this time feet together. Lift the legs up, one leg at a time, you can bend the knees if you want to. So this is going to tone your legs, strengthen your legs and at the same time you're on the downward facing dog so that's really good to strengthen your spine, your upper body. Begin to gain control and bring the right leg in between your hands. You're going in for a full lunge, lifting the back leg up. Hold it here, engage your core. And we're going to drop the back knee down and up, going for pulses. This is going to burn you guys, but do not stop. Now get your back leg forwards in tiny little steps. Bend both your knees if you're a beginner and drop your head down. You can still stay on your fingertips. But if you're advancing and you can reach down to the ground, you can place your hands down, your legs straightened out. Now the feet meet each other for the forward fold. Grab your elbows, drop your head down, heavy, super heavy down, let it hang loose. Keep pulsing your cells and we're going in for the ragdoll sways. We're going to let go and sway the body left and right. And root your cells to high, palms together, reaching tall and hands down in prayer. A quick second to just breathe. I want you to take a deep inhale through your nose and exhale out with your mouth. And for the next big inhale, hands up, palms together, fold yourselves forward, drop your head down, taking both your legs back for the plank and get yourselves for the downward facing dog. This time you're going to lift for the left leg, place it in between your hands. Drop your back knee down and up. Stay with me, don't give up. And leap forward in tiny steps for the triangle forward fold. If you are a beginner, feel free to bend your knees, get yourselves to the fingertips. And feet together. Ragdoll pulses, pulses. 
pulse down, down and down as we sway left and right. Root yourselves to high, palms together, look up to the ceiling and hands come down to prayer to complete the flow. Good work everyone. I have a little friend of mine joining us for our practice. We're going to continue to the center of the mat. Beginning with a nice seated chair squat. Palms together in prayer. Engage your core, send your glutes behind, push your butt back. And now we're going to go in for squat pulses. Down and up. Keep breathing as you do this. You're going to feel the burn on your legs. You're going to strengthen, tone, lose all that fat. Good work. And now we're going in for the seated chair twist. For this, squat down and twist yourself. Place the opposite elbow down to the leg. Look up and breathe. And switch to the other side and breathe. And slowly come up. Beautiful. Forward fold. Fold yourselves forward. Keep pressing yourselves down. And bend your knees if you're a beginner. Feel free to do what your body is letting you do. And slowly reach yourselves up. We're going to go in for hip circles. Just circle out your hips in one direction just to cool down a bit. And switch to the other side. We're going to get into Virabhadrasana or the warrior two pose. Let's work the left side first. Toes of your left leg facing to the left and toes of your right leg faces me nice and straight. You're going to lunge down to the left side. Open your arms out and look towards the left side. Chin up and control your body, engage your core. And let's begin to flow. You're going to drop down and up, tiny little pulses, working to tone and strengthen your legs. This really works, so keep going, stay with me, do not give up. And now we're going to bring the leg a foot distance inside. And we're going to reverse stretch, taking the hand over your head and stretching for the reverse side body. Good work everyone, I'm really proud of you. Let's switch and do the same thing for the right side this time. Make sure your toes are aligned and lunge down to the front leg. Shift your body forward, engage your core. Lengthen your arms out, open all your fingers. That's working as well. Chin up and gaze to the right side. Let's begin to pulse down and up. Slow, controlled pulses without locking your knee. And bringing your legs a foot distance inside of you to a comfortable distance. River stretch, taking your right hand over your head. And we have one more squat to move for this class. We're getting into the goddess pose. So I want you to open your legs out for this nice and wide. Your back is kept straight and you're going to squat down. Take your hands out, your index and your thumb together for Gyan Mudra. And close your eyes as you squat down. And 
now we're gonna go down and up squat pulses and that's gonna burn more calories Now go down, tiny pulses for 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Amazing work. Begin to get to the end of the mat through the length. And we're going to crawl ourselves forward, get your knees down and crawl back to the forward fold. So keep moving forward and back. This is a nice plank variation. That's going to strengthen your core, tone your body, burn lots of calories, of course. So keep marching, dropping the knees down. And do this slowly and engaged. Good work. Let's get to the child's resting pose. You deserve a nice stretch for about 10 seconds here. Forehead down to the mat. And extend your arms in front, close your eyes and just breathe and restore your body. Wake up your system and get back to the all fours. We're going to practice one more round of core strengthening. We're going to get into the bird dog. Extend your right leg. Point your toes and once you're ready, you're going to lift your left arm and when you find your balance and your confidence to extend, you can just fly out for a bird dog, opposite leg and arm. And switch to the other side, this time your left leg, point the toes. And your right arm lift it up and begin to extend over your head keep breathing and keep tightening for your core muscles good work drop the legs down and begin to give me pelvic circles you're just gonna circle out your pelvis in any one direction And return the circles to the other side. And now you're going to arch your back, gaze up to the ceiling. And begin to just sway your body as you stay in the arched position of your spine. And now curl yourselves around your spine, chin drops down to the chest. Hold it here, keep pulling up your spine. And begin to sway back and forth. And moving on to the next asana and the next position which is Vajrasana. Sit on your legs, your legs together, toes pointed away from you. Send your glutes down, back kept nice and straight. Close your eyes as you connect yourselves here with the mat to begin our flow in this position. Now roll the shoulder blades behind for a nice rotator cuff stretch. Take it forward. Now one hand down to the mat, extend for the other side. Switch. Now coming to a kneeling stance, I want you to kneel down, flex your toes underneath. Hands taken right in front of your chest. We're thinking to drop your butt down towards your legs and push yourselves up. Down, sending your glutes and come up as you exhale. 
Inhaling down, exhaling up. You can keep the hands down to your hips if you want to. This is a very good toning for your thighs and your butt. Now for the camel pose, I want you to take both your hands right behind you. Palms facing down or if you want to stay on your fingertips, you are welcome to do so. And lift your head up, chin up, seal your lips and keep gazing till the ceiling. And moving forward for Balasana, tuck your hands underneath, palms opened up, drop the forehead down to the mat as you close your eyes and unwind in this resting pose to restore your body. Great work everybody, we're going to finish off this class with one last final segment for this video which is nothing but yoga abs. So lie down to the mat and let's get to it. Starting off with a nice sleepy leg stretch, drop both your legs down on one side and switch to the other. Keep switching left and right to massage for your tailbone. Pull one of your knee in towards your chest and hold. And switch to the other and hold. As you breathe. Sedu Bandhasan or the pelvic bridge. I want you to lift your glutes up to a nice inclined position. Hands right next to your body, palms pressing down to the mat. Now as you're up, I want you to squeeze your glutes and engage your core. Keep breathing out with your mouth. Get that airflow in and out. And slowly drop one vertebrae at a time down to the mat. And next one is a nice ab cycle. Hug both your knees and begin to extend one leg up to the ceiling. Point the toes underneath and keep shifting left and right. Good. Now one leg down, the other leg lifted up to the sky. Point the toes and begin to give me circles. Nice big circles if you want. Or if you're a beginner and you feel the burn, you can take it nice and slow. Do what feels nice for the body. Switch to the other side. This is really good for the lower abs. Good work. Next one, curl yourselves up for a nice crunch. Now begin to hug in your knees, one leg at a time as you march your legs out. Beautiful ab toning here for your lower abs. But don't forget to breathe. Keep exhaling out with your mouth as you keep switching legs, nice and controlled. No fast paced moves here. Knees bent and begin to lift your hips off the mat. Pulse up and drop down. This is a burn for your lower abs, you guys. So keep pulsing up and down. 
control the jump. And we just have a couple of more moves to finish off this class. We are getting into one more pelvic bridge variation with your heels lifted off the mat. Lift yourselves up in a nice straight inclined position and engage that core, squeeze your glutes and relax back down. Great work. Last and final move. We're getting into a normal traditional crunch. Hands taken right behind your head. Begin to just crunch up. Keep breathing as you come up. Now last one, hold it up for the last five, four, three, two and one great job you guys and you have made it to the cool down stretches and your body deserves this unwinding relaxing poses stay with me till the end i want you to take one leg over to the other side and take the opposite arm over your head and give yourselves a nice supine twist and stretch for your back And switch to the other side. Happy baby or Ananda Balasana. For this, open your legs out. Get hold of your ankles, your big toe or your feet. Wherever you could reach to and where it feels good. Beautiful stretch and release for your groin, for your inner thighs, to open up for your pelvis. This stretches everything. Now you can begin to just sway your body left and right. So that's going to passively massage for your lower back as well. Getting into the child in the womb stretch, crunching yourselves up and hugging your legs. You're going to stay here as you breathe, rounding for your shoulders. For the reclining butterfly pose, feet together, knees apart. And we're going to think to flap the knees out, getting deeper into your inner thigh stretch. And begin to extend for your total body. Lengthen your legs down, interlace your fingers and take your hands right over your head. Give yourselves a full body, feel good stretch from head to toe. And let's lay in Shavasana, one of the most important steps of this class. Open the palms, spread your legs out and begin to just close your eyes. When it comes to physical goals or any kind of weight loss goals, stress plays a major factor and you need to respond to the body with actions that's going to de-stress you. Then Shavasana it is, it also helps you to navigate stress response in everyday life that we all face. Begin to just tap into that silence and your wisdom that's already built inside of you. Take deep breaths in and out as you begin to celebrate your body, celebrate your breath, your mind and flooding your body with a little gratitude this moment for all the things that you are capable of doing in today's class. Send little love notes to your body. 
grounding yourself deeply to the mat as you stay here enjoying the silence in Shavasana. Begin to just move your limbs, shake out your legs, and shake out your hands, bringing some awareness with movement. Flex and point your toes underneath, circling out your wrist. Finishing off with a nice rub onto your palms to form the heat on your hands, and cupping that down gently on your eyeballs. As you seal today's practice and the time that you've spent on the mat today. Let's get to the final bow down, pressing the thumb down to your third eye. And that's it for this class. I really hope that you enjoyed this juicy weight loss yoga flow. There are more parts to it. I'm going to link everything in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow along for more at-home workout videos with me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, namaste.